guys, it's Abby, and today I have the Glow Addict box for September 2020. I forgot the month. And I have some BoxyCharm pop-up stuff that I picked up because I have no excuse. <laughs> there is no excuse on why I picked it up. I did open the Glow Addict box already, and I'm missing one product because I don't know where it went. So I will let you know what that product is once I open the box, which I'm going to do right now. So here is the Glow Addict box. This is, my face went really dark for a second. Okay, so when you open up the box, it looks like this. I'm actually excited about this month's box because um, I like what's in it. Okay, oh no, I put it back in there. Okay, so this was the product that was missing. This is an eyelash, um, an eyelash tweezer. It puts your eyelashes on. I don't use these because I don't put eyelashes on, but I do like that they gave you this to go with your eyelashes. I am excited about the eyelashes this month because they're magnetic. And I'm all about the magnetic eyelashes with the magnetic eyeliner because I think that might be easier than the other ones that I put on that I had no idea what I was doing and I did them wrong. So I'm excited about this. These are by iBeauty. I've never heard of iBeauty, but this is from iBeauty and so are the lashes. These are the, oh wait, never mind. The tweezers are from iBeauty and this is from Flaunt Beauty. And we got the Magnetic Faux Mink Lashes with Magnetic Eyeliner. And these are the ones called Saint. They're very, very huge. Huge, they're large and in charge. Yes, they are. And I don't have a problem with these because they're magnetic. So they give you a little eyeliner right here, and then they give you these big, fluffy eyelashes. You know what they remind me of? Snuffleupagus. <laughs> you know Snuffleupagus from um, Sesame Street? He, she had the most beautiful eyelashes, and these remind me of Snuffleupagus. I don't know why, but they do. Anyway, you get the eyeliner here, so I'll definitely try these and see if I can keep them on my eyes. I haven't had the best luck with them, but I will. Next thing is this, and this is a brush cleansing pad, and it looks like this. So, got one of these, which I'm really excited about, and it has like a little suction cup on the back, so you can suction cup it to wherever you're washing your brushes, most likely a sink. Then we have, oh wait, I forgot something, hold on. I forgot that I got some stuff from Sally's Beauty, and I wanna show you guys what I got. So then we have, the next thing is the Steve Laurent lip oil. And this is in the shade Orchid. I do like Steve Laurent's liquid lips. They're very, very comfortable. So I'm not angry about getting, I mean, I don't know why I'd be angry. <laughs> that word's a little harsh, but I'm not upset at getting a lip oil and it's really pretty. It's a very pretty purple Orchid color and um, it's lip oil. And the last but not least that's in this box is the Aesthetica Contour Palette. This is probably one of my favorite contour palettes out there that I've received in subscription boxes. This is really, really good. And it looks like this. They did change the packaging up, I noticed, because the back has, shows circular pans, which I normally see the circular pans in there. Oh, you also get the Contour Series Powder. Um, it's a face-shaped introduction thing, and it tells you what to do and how to do it. And it's just instructions on how to contour. I should use those because I can go a little ham on some bronzer. Okay, but inside here are square pans. So anyway, this is a really good contour palette. I do like it, it works really great, so I'm really, really happy about getting this. It is a little dirty, but I mean, it's just powder. There's no swatches or anything in it, so it just looks like it was tumbled around a little bit. And it was packaged really nicely, so. So for the month of September, we received the Aesthetica contour palette, we received the Steve Laurent lip oil, the Eye Beauty eyelash holders, tweezers, this, makeup brush holder, no, makeup brush cleaner pad, and the eyelashes with the eyeliner. So I thought it was really good this month. 
It's $18.99, you do have to pay shipping, so it comes out to be like $23 a month. I do think that this month it was a good month compared to the other months, so there's that. Okay, I'll link it in my description box. I went to Sally's Beauty and I picked up some gloves because when you dye your hair like I do, you need gloves that stay on your hands. Not the ones that come in hair dye boxes because that's how I dye my hair. Um, because they always fall off. So I got myself some gloves, plus you need gloves nowadays because of the whole pandemic. I also, did you know the Sally's at Beauty, first of all, had stuff that was no longer being sold. So like it was like last chance stuff. I didn't really see much stuff that I would pick up, but they had a lot of, they had a lot of makeup there from brands that you see in subscription boxes. They had Padillo or Padillo. I used to get that in the, Ricky's Colt Crush box all the time. That brand, they had Beauty Blender there. They had um, Soap and Glory. No, not no, not Soap and Glory. Something Glory. I forget the name, but they had that there. They had NYX. They had, you know, regular drugstore products, but they also had some high-end products there. They also had all the Beauty Blender. No, yeah, all the Beauty Blender stuff. Their cleansers, their Beauty Blenders. They had all of the Real Technique Beauty Blenders and brushes. Like, they had a lot of stuff there, and I didn't even know. I've never been there before, but She Crafty was not there with me. And she goes to Sally Hansen all the time. Sally Hansen? Sally? What is it? Sally Beauty? Sally Hansen. One. Never mind. It's Beauty Supply. It's not Sally anything. It's Beauty Supply. But anyway, she sent me a box filled with hair dye stuff to do my own hair dye, to create it, to mix it, to all of the stuff. And she got me a bunch of stuff to do that. And I did that for a while because I had all the stuff. Since she wasn't there with me, I didn't know what to pick. So I just got cheap hair dye and I'm hoping my hair doesn't fall out. So I picked up these. She's gonna yell at me. There's nothing I can do. You guys can yell at me in the comment section. I'm still gonna do it. Okay, so I picked up the Essie Nail Polish in the shade Nailed It. I just thought it was really pretty and this was only $6.99. And these are expensive. Like this is an expensive brand of nail polish. You go to Walgreens and they're at least $11. So I was like, okay. I mean, I haven't painted my nails in quite some time because I wanted to let them breathe and then I, then I bit my nails all off. But here's the shade, it's really pretty. And I love Essie nail polish um, brushes. They're like bigger brushes, so like they get your whole nail. Um, but I love colors like this. I got the NYX eyebrow pencil that I use all the time that I ran out of, and that's why my eyebrows look super, super dark. Um, but this is in the shade Espresso. These are $10. And then I got this because this was on sale for $5.99 and this is usually $14 and this is the Revlon Colorstay Matte Finish Foundation. Now this is not my shade but I do have one of those mixers that you guys told me about to make my foundation lighter or darker. So I got this so I could see what I can do with it. I use this foundation all the time. This is like my go-to foundation and this is in Light Honey. When I have a tan, this might work for me. Probably work for me today if my tan was real. Okay, and the last but not least that I purchased at Not Sally Beauty, but Beauty Supply, is the Beauty Blend, the Blender Cleanser Solid. This is really great. This is my favorite brush cleaner. It works really great and it works really great on your beauty blenders. So I'm really excited that I got this because I didn't know they had such thing there. I knew there was such a thing, but I didn't know they sold such a thing. Why can't I open it? Oh, it's taped. I'm so excited about this. I haven't had this. I got this in a box one time. I don't remember what box it was, but I got it in a box. And it like taught me what a good cleanser was for brushes. So it's just a solid like this. And then they give you this little tiny brush cleaner here. And you just put your brushes on it and mix it and then mix it on here and then put it through water and you have a clean brush. So that's what I got at the beauty supply store. I was proud of myself because I didn't go crazy like I normally would, but I, there wasn't so
so much there. Like if you go to Ulta, there's so much. But when you go there, it's a lot to do with your hair rather than makeup. So, okay. And then the BoxyCharm stuff that I got. I just got this. FedEx just dropped it off. So I don't really remember what I got. So we're going to see together. Oh, here we go. I remember what I purchased. I got a bunch of brushes right here. What the heck? Why do I keep buying stuff like this that I'm never going to use? I'm going to put this in a giveaway. This is the 360 Full Protection Soft Touch Silicone AirPods case. Includes Carabiner. Carabiner? I have no idea. But here it is. I don't even own AirPods, so... <laughs> I think I thought they were AirPods, and that's why I got them. Sorry. Um, okay, so I got four brushes. Let's see what they are. This is the Morphe R40. It's just a blender. I'm not going to open this because I believe I have this one already. So I'll probably put this in a giveaway, but it's just a fluffy blender. I don't really like the white bristles as much as I like the black bristles, but I did get this. Then I got this one, and this is a highlight definer brush. And again, it's white bristles, but I mean, I think these were like $3 or something. So here it is. And this is the R31. And then, and I've been using highlight brushes like that lately. And then I got this one, and this is the R5 Morphe brush. I don't remember what this is for but it's a tapered something. So here we go. And I love getting brushes. Do any of you just love brushes? I love them. And then I got the Morphe R34, and I don't have this brush. This is a deluxe blending brush. What does this say? Yeah, this doesn't tell you what it is. So this is a deluxe blending brush, and I don't have this one. I've never had a Morphe brush that is two different tones of color. So I feel fancy. I mean, as fancy as you can be with Morphe, but I feel fancy. So I got these. Fantastic. And I think the rest of the stuff is lip color. Why did I get so many lip products? Because I have an obsession with lip products and I need to do a declutter because it's getting out of hand. I don't even know where I'm gonna put these. Okay, so let's do these. This is a lip liner and this is a lip liner. Okay, so we have a Jouer lip liner. And I think all of this stuff that I purchased was like $60, guys. It wasn't expensive. Okay, so this is a lip liner. It's a long wear cream lip liner in the shade Shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. And, oh, did I show you the packaging? It's right here. I don't think I have any Jouer lip liners. And here is the lip liner. And let's swatch her. Oh, well, that's weird. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It said shimmer on it. Is this a lip liner for sure? Yeah, it's a lip liner. So there it is. It's a shimmer. And I'll totally wear it. I'll probably wear that as a full lip color. Because I do that. I'm Right now, I'm wearing an, a lip liner as a lip color. The next one is the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. And this is in the shade Fun. I hope it's fun. Let's see. Ooh, oh, it's got a, what is that? Oh, it's a sharpener at the end. It's a little baby sharpener. All right, so it's already fancy. And there is the shade, so it's a red. It's either a coral red or a bright red. Oh, my ear's ringing. That's beautiful. Look at that, so pretty. Okay. Put that in there. So we got the lip liner. The next thing is this. Oh, I got two Fenty lipsticks. I got the plush matte lipsticks. One is in, are they in the same color? Oh no. Madame, this one's Madame and this is the matte, matte Muselle. I don't know I'm saying that wrong, but um, I really like these. I think that they're really pretty. I think we got these in our box. Um, in our boxes and I got like a really dark brown shade and I wasn't super happy with it so I'm glad that I have a chance to try 
some more shades. So this one is really pretty. Oh, that is gonna look so beautiful in the winter. I can, you guys know I'm gonna wear that. It's such a pretty red, opaque and just, mm. I was gonna snap, but then I realized it's not a snap product. It's a, like a delicious product. Okay, the next one is Candy Venom. And I think this is bright pink, but these, this is a shade that you can mix with something else or wear alone with, you know, like a, an eye look that isn't very like in your face, like a bright eye look, you can use this lip color to brighten up your look. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Then we have this and this is the NYX Shout Loud in the best. So this is just a lipstick. You can get these at NYX. I mean at the drugstore. And this is a red shade. And I think I just got this because it was probably like two bucks. And there it is. Look at the difference though. That's like a glossy red and that's a matte red, but the opaqueness is like totally different. I mean, it should be. NYX is a cheaper brand a lot cheaper than Fenty. I mean, not super cheaper, but super cheaper. I don't know what that word is. Okay, then I have the, oh, I forgot that I got this. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Primer. I totally forgot that I got this. I think I just wanted to try it because it was there and it was available. And this is in soft matte. So I'm excited. Oh, it's so pretty. Don't you love the clean packaging? I love clean packaging like this. When it's just I didn't I thought I didn't think it was a pump. I I truly didn't. So it's it's a pump. And let's put it on. Let's put it on. It doesn't really have a scent. It kind of smells like, it doesn't smell great, but I mean, it has a scent, but it's not a great scent and it seems to disappear. Okay, the next thing is, the next thing is this, and this is the Bite Beauty Crystal Cream Shimmer Lip Crayon. And if you haven't tried Bite Beauty lipsticks, oh, you are missing out. There are lip liners, there are lipsticks, so good so good um okay so here's the packaging and this is in the shade what did i tell you rose glace so let's see Ooh, so pretty and there it is oh that's so pretty guys that is a beautiful nude I don't know what I would wear that with. Maybe I could put that like on the center lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I love Bite Beauty products. Bite Beauty needs to be talked about more. And the last but not least is this. And this is the MAC Dazzle Glass Lip Gloss in Prancin' Dancin'. Is it upside down? I can't tell. I don't have a viewfinder. Um, okay, so this is the shade. I love lip gloss so much. And it looks like this. Do you guys like lip gloss as much as I do? I really like it. I like to just, ooh, that smells fantastic. It smells like cake. I'm hungry. Okay, and there it is. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, it is beautiful all right so that is everything that i got from the boxy pop-up all lip products this time like all lip products um besides the pro filter instant retouch primer and what else did i get oh this <laughs> i still have no idea why i got this i don't even have airpods um but i mean it will be a good giveaway it will be a very good giveaway thing
Um, anyway, that is what I got in my um, Why did I do that? Why? Why can't I just be normal and wait till I'm done a video? Anyway, that is it for today, guys. I just wanted to show you a few things that I got. It wasn't a few things, it was quite a lot of things. And I wanna show you the, what box did I show you? Glow Addict box for September 2020, which I thought was really good this month for Glow Addict because it's not usually as great as that. So let me know what you thought about everything that I got. Did you pick up anything from the pop-up? Have Do you have a beauty supply store or a Sally Hansen? Let me know. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll put all of the information for Glow Addict and BoxyCharm down in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourself. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.